Hi, in this video I am going to show you how to insert data into a database table using the uh, MySQL command insert into. Okay, so uh, first thing of course that we have to do is actually connect to our database, which I covered in another video. Um, you can look that up, but uh, I'm basically going to just include the code from that file here so that we have our database connection. Okay, and then we're going to move on into what this video is all about, which is inserting data into a database table. So we've already set up a database and it has a table in it called contacts. Okay, and in that table there are a variety of fields, all of which are represented here. Um, the first is a unique ID, um, and that is auto incremented and it's the primary index for this table so uh, you don't actually pass values to that uh, we'll see that down here uh, where we use null instead of an actual value okay but then everything else is pretty normal we have a first name we have a last name we have a email for email address phone street address city country postal code and a memo field uh, for additional information Okay, so this is pretty typical uh, of many you know, database tables. Now our ins insert into calls the table by name, and then we have brackets, right? And if you see the structure, each of the fields is represented uh, with a comma between them. And of course, there's no comma after the last uh, field name, okay? So that's our the beginning of our insert into statement we've mentioned the table and the field names. Now what we are inserting into contacts are uh, values. Okay, so if we put our values keyword okay, after the final bracket. Um, now we're dropping down lines for this. This could all be on one line. I do this for readability. Okay, um, and, and another thing you sh we should note is that this is all part, this is all text which uh, together is the um, SQL command that we're sending. So we're putting that into a variable. So we have our SQL variable, okay, and that equals, and we open with a quote, okay, and then all this text, if we go all the way down uh, to the closing quote, and then the uh, critical semicolon after that to show the end of that full uh, command of passing this text into the SQL variable, okay? So um, again, this could all be on a single line, would look very messy that way. So I've put in the line breaks, which are no problem. But, uh, but really this statement goes from here, from line seven, all the way down to line 50 here, okay? So, um, you know, keep that in mind when we're talking about building this. This is all a string that we're going to eventually pass um, into this MySQL query, okay? So so we've started with our insert into the table. We have our values keyword, okay? And then each value uh, we put into brackets, okay? And you can have a whole series of them. You can have 500 if you want. Uh, they'll all be separated by commas, except again, uh, the final one, instead of a comma, we're gonna put a semicolon. Okay, so whereas up here we had nothing after the final value, uh, down here we need a semicolon. Okay, that closes off uh, the insert into statement. Okay, as opposed to, you know, we have this other SQL equals statement uh, wrapped around it. So now our values, let's get this scrolled well. Okay, so you need to pass them in the same order that you listed. Uh, the field names, okay? Because basically you're creating rows within your database table, okay? And you've defined uh, your uh, field order for a row here. It doesn't have to be the same as, as it was defined within the database, but it has to be consistent with inserting into statement, okay? So as we uh, mentioned earlier, the unique ID because that's the primary index and it's auto incremented. It's an integer that just goes up for each row added. Uh, we just pass null, 
there. Okay, we don't want, we can't give it a value. You're not allowed to give it a value. Okay, but uh, then we get into first name, last name, email, etc. So we go down the row, right? Fred Flintstone. Here's his email address. Here's his phone number. Here's his street address, the city, country, postal code, and the memo. Okay. Um, and then we can go down and for the next row, null again for uh, the index value there. And then, you know, Barney Rubble, here's his email address, phone number, street address, city, country, postal code, and memo. Okay. So all those things are in place. We're just going to do the two. Now we have our SQL string created. Okay. That's our SQL command. So think of it this way, you're you're working within PHP, but you're connecting, you have connected up here to MySQL. You need to pass MySQL uh, a nice complex command. You put that into a string format, right? And that string is what you're going to pass in here. Now, we could do it. We could just place the string in here and forget about the SQL variable. But, it, you know, things start to get really messy when you have everything wrapping around everything else uh, you know this keeps it clean there's the variable now we can we can use it down here we can use it again if we want that kind of thing so um, mysql query does return a result right so we're going to store that because it's going to be uh, useful for more complex processing later so you create your result variable, call it whatever you like, but basically that is going to equal uh, whatever MySQL query passes back to it uh, after running or trying to run the SQL statement, which you defined in that big SQL um, string, right? So you create your string, your SQL string, which is your insert into that whatever table you're doing, that's all created you're going to pass that to MySQL query, okay, and voila, you have sent your command off. Everything being normal and working correctly, uh, things will work fine. So let's let's just take a look at, at running this here. So um, I have uh, the PHP my admin here. If we browse this table, it's it's empty, right? There's there's nothing here. Okay, so now if we go, um, whoop, let's go back here, over to here, and everything is in this little database folder. So this is our insert into file that we just built up. Okay, and uh, it's run because we see that the include file it was done, and the insert into file that we were just looking at has done its job. Now if we go back to PHP uh, my admin here and we click on browse again there we have our data right you have Fred Flintstone Barney Rubble and all their relevant bits to look at so uh, so we know that it works right um, by the way I'm using um, here we go uh, Uniserver 0xi okay which is a nice little PHP MySQL uh, all in one thing that you can download and run on your Windows computer, probably other OSs too, but for sure on a Windows computer. And uh, it just gives you a nice environment for testing and playing around in. Okay, um, if you want to go really crazy, you can actually run a website off your own computer if you can set it up through your router and all that kind of thing. But uh, but it's really uh, it's a really great tool for doing tutorials and for testing and uh, playing around and learning with. Okay, so. Um, Hopefully this uh, all helped you uh, learn how to insert rows into your database tables using PHP uh, over MySQL. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe.